Hi, today I'm going to talk about buffing, buffing needles, buffing needles problem. This problem is for simulating pi, for instance, 3.14415, something like this. To simulate this, we have two methods uh, for solving this, I mean, this problem, buffer needles problem. One is direct approach, another is the by by Mont Carlo, Monte, Monte Carlo method. So first of all, I'd like to talk about the simple one. So the simple one is the, for instance, I I should draw this for you first. Uh, we have a line straight line on the table or floor for instance this one like this with lines with equal distance for instance like this equal distance okay uh, and we have a needle like this a needle And drop the needle. For instance, this is a needle. I, I have a needle, but now, for instance, this this is a pencil. But anyway, support needle. And then we we throw the needle, and then we drop the needle, and then cross the line, or doesn't cross the line. If, uh, for instance, to suppose you have a small needle like. For instance, something like this, something like some small needle. This is not needle, but anyway, for instance, this is a small one. If it is cross the uh, uh, parallel line or lines or not crossing, so what is the probability for crossing or not crossing? Let's say uh, point, uh, for instance, A here. Point A in the middle of needle and. For instance, let's uh, uh, say that the, the parallel lines, distances, equal distance, for instance, D. And the lengths of the needles are, for instance, the length is D. Uh, no, uh, length is, uh, for instance, length is... Uh, Let's say not D, of course it can be equal, but let's say it is D, uh, L should be less than or equal D. For instance, we can also like this for the, this is for simplicity. Anyway, this is the length of needle, this is the length of the uh, parallel lines uh, on the floor or the, for instance, a desk. Buffer needles uh, first uh, was uh, uh, defined by a French mathematician in 1993 or something like that. Later I will tell about the history. The uh, let's do this. The I, I I think it's better to write with this smaller. For instance, uh, this is the the distance between 
the, the middle of the needle to the nearest line and the distance of this perpendicular line is x and suppose that we have a uh, angle theta here that if we draw this and then this is theta here this theta and this x is two uniform random number that's why we we have another approach with Monte Carlo simulation with Monte Carlo method the simple or direct method is this that for instance the the heating or heater crossing occurs when x is less than or equal half of the L sine theta for instance this is theta and uh, if the cross occurs for instance like uh, this one like this one and any angle is okay for instance like this this is needed and this is cross here so point a come here x is this now and theta is this x if it is equal to or less than half of the L sine theta then it start to cross it doesn't matter for instance you can say that uh, you have a middle of the between two lines the middle I draw a line for the middle for instance this first we we talk about in the middle of the for instance this is d, d over d d over 2 and this is d over 2 so half of the d and then the crossing occurs when the the half of the well the here l is equal d so half of the l is half of the d multiplied by sine theta is starting to have the crossing and uh, this is the best case that it is start I, I can draw it like this for instance this one is this and half of the d is here and this is theta theta can, can theta can be any angle and this is exactly l over 2 so if x is this this x is well of course it is half of the length the here is the length of the l is this for instance this this needle is now uh, the length is greater than this but uh, the length of l uh, i mean the needle is exactly the same so this is just by showing is a little uh, i made a the difference here but doesn't matter l is the same l we don't change the l uh, but the middle of the point a exactly cross the middle of the distance to line and then the distance that we can draw this uh, x, this x is this x is equal or less than l over 2 sine theta in this case uh, theta is random variable x is random variable and it is uniform distribution most of them and uh, for we can say that the heat occurs anyway uh, this this uh, theta for instance we can write like this this is theta theta can be any number from 0 to pi and x can be any number from x is the the place of the middle of the 
define uh, uh, middle of the needle A to the uh, one parallel lines, the distance. So, for instance, this is X. X can be from 0 to uh, generally is less than D, but for half of the D, we can say half of the D maximum. So, maximum is half of the D, for instance, is this is half of D or half of L. Let's say this is same in this case. And this in this case, uh, we can draw that for any theta, this is not here. So, for any theta, any theta, x can be, uh, for instance, can be any number like this, this theta can be here, can be here, can be here, or even with uh, here. But the crossing is not always possible. Crossing is only possible when you have the x is with this middle pi over 2 a sine curve here. So the heat or crossing occurs under the area of this sine sine uh, curve between 0 and pi. In this case x if x is equal any number here is x or here is x any any number less than this is the place that crossing occurs so it's enough to <clears throat> say that the uh, we calculate the area under the uh, uh, sign that is the crossing so s occurs I mean heat occurs this here this is the area is occur from 0 to pi in general L over T over two, 2 sine theta D theta if you calculate this heat or crossing it came to it will come to this minus cos minus cosine theta from 0 to pi then it is L so this is the area or the probability not probability is the area that uh, crossing or heating occur when they drop the needle over the parallel lines on the floor for instance drop this, drop this, drop this. But if it is, for instance, theta is like this, theta is zero, can be, x can be even d over two or l over two, if it is l equal d. So any number. But for other, in general, general case is this, for instance, uh, I will write for you with the another color here. For instance, general generally you can say that the total area total area of uh, total drop under the curve theta and x is L over 2, this you can say D over 2 or you can say 1 over 2, just by sim for simplicity. Multiply by pi, this is the, um, the area of the rectangle, this multiply by this, so it is L pi 2. So the probability of the heating is probability of heat or crossing is the ratio of between these two area which is s over of of heats over 
S uh, of total. This probability, it could be less than, should be less than one. So it is L, as I said here, over L pi or T, which is two over pi. This ca I calculated zero six three six six one nine seven or something like that. That in, in this case you can say okay, pi is the number of crossing. So if you are uh, not busy, you draw the uh, draw the uh, needle or the parallel line on the desk. So heat it uh, count the heat. So number of heats or crossing crossing a line divided by number of total total heat or total drop not heat total drop maybe heat or not heat so it is 2 over pi in this case you can you can say that pi can be simulated as 2 over probability of that which is the, uh, it, uh, I mean approximately 1 3.1415 now what I uh, calculate is 9301010 this is, of course, is not exact, but you can go further. So in this case, uh, this is a very simple form for solving this buffer needle problem. And here, uh, I this approach is just by direct approach. And for in the next video, I will show you the. the Monte Carlo method which is using the which is using the I mean um, the probability theory and the uh, I mean the pro the probability theory and the, for instance uh, joint probability which is a method of Monte Carlo. Here I finish this buffer needle problem. Thank you very much.